The pressure to have the ideal body type is increasing in today's society. Daniel Parrish, a licensed mental health practitioner, says CAPS is working to relieve some of that pressure through the Body Acceptance Program. Well, this organization started based on pure interest, so some students on campus who sort of saw the need for somebody or some group to address eating disorder concerns or body image concerns. So the group at that point was called HOPE. Um, it has since evolved, and then CAPS has come on as an additional support as part of that process. Parrish says that research shows it is common for college-aged women to face body concerns. It is so common that mental health practitioners who are a part of the body acceptance program have experienced concerns themselves. Um, with a personal story, growing up, body image concerns is something that I um, experienced myself. Parrish and Manstead have worked with students to address the wide scopes of concerns with a two-session program. We break down sort of what social media portrays, and then we try to provide some healthy tools for reshaping and reframing that narrative. Body image is not just a struggle for women, but they are the only gender service through the current body acceptance program. So it is specifically geared toward women, and the reason for that is because it's an evidence-based program. Um, the research that was done was conducted all with women. And they're actually doing some research to hopefully adapt a program for men. If a student is interested in joining the program, Parrish says it takes only a few simple steps. If you're interested in signing up for the program, on the CAPS website there is a link to sign up for any of our workshops that are set for the semester. You just sign up through the CAPS website, express your interest, and then we'll reach out to you to get that solidified.